my top seven men's fragrances of the week that I tested for you. Guys, awesome for tuning in. Which summer fragrances, men's fragrance did I wear this week? On day number one, I wanted something fresh and reinvigorating that's affordable and popular. And I picked, how can it be different? The absolute cold classic, the white Armani Aqua Dijon. The Aqua Dijon, very, very popular fragrance, as you can see in this very nice frosted glass. And this fragrance became so popular. It's a fragrance that uses two special fragrance compounds. As you can see here, it utilizes the Hedion and the Kalon, and that's key ingredients that gives this, uh, this unique scent and DNA. And I find this very easy, pleasant to wear, and very versatile on a lot of occasions. And that's why I picked uh, the fragrance for the summer, the Armani Aqua Di Gio, which is very fun to wear on day number one. Day number two, I wanted a men's fragrance that's a little bit more grown up and gives off a little bit more of a masculine vibe. And since I'm a big Tom Ford fan, I picked from the Tom Ford signature line, the Tom Ford for men, Tom Ford for men here in this beautiful bottle. And yeah, this fragrance has a really nice opening. I like the opening that this fragrance has. That's very enjoyable and then it dries down. Maybe it's not a beast mode projector. In the beginning, the projection is nice, but uh, it gets, in my opinion, a little bit closer to the skin, but that's perfectly fine. A more mature scent, uh, scent. so I would definitely sample this first, maybe for the little bit more mature guy uh, that works at the office or in the boardroom. Moving on to day number three, I wanted something very creative, very unique from a niche house. I wanted a niche fragrance and I picked a scent that reminds me a little bit of the Crete Virgin Island Water. But in my opinion, I like this one way more than the Crete Virgin Island Water. I picked Aaron Terrence Use Ozone, Aaron Terrence Use Ozone. And uh, yeah, when you purchase niche fragrances, I also can give you the advice be a little bit cautious because if they are create more creative, um, I recommend you to get maybe like 10 mils or sample them somewhere. But this Aaron Terrence Use makes very creative fragrances and the Aaron Terrence Use Ozone I think is great also to use for the spring and summertime because it has a little bit of, it gives me personally, it gives me a little bit of that coconutty vibe uh, that reminds me of the Crete Virgin Island Water but the Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrance is actually way more masculine and grown up. That's why I prefer this way more. Day number three, day number three, Aaron Terrence Hughes Ozone, a terrific niche fragrance from an independent UK perfumer. Then on day number four, on day number four, I thought why not wear Tom Ford twice, twice is better than once. And I picked a Tom Ford fragrance. It's also very unique and actually quite rare from this time the private blend line. As you know, these bottles are the private blend line. And what did I pick? I picked an Oud fragrance, which you might not suspect most people. I picked the Oud Mineral on day four, the Tom Ford Oud Mineral on day four. But why did I pick a Oud fragrance for spring and summer? Well, normally the Oud fragrances are very richly formulated and normally the Oud fragrances, in my opinion, are better suited for fall or winter time. But this Oud fragrance, I think, really stands out. It's really very unique and uh, other perfumers have commented actually on the creativity in that fragrance. And I think this is surprisingly wearable for spring and summer because it has this minerally note that maybe reminds you of the ocean, you know, when you come out of the salty water, but uh, very unique, very interesting. And I also found this surprisingly long lasting. I don't need a lot of space from that fragrance. And it uh, sits a little bit closer to the skin, but it lasts throughout the day. And I have a very pleasant wearing experience with this. But like with everything, Tom Ford Oud Mineral, a very unique fragrance. Uh, that's also, I think, uh, this one going to be discontinued right now. So if you go to a bigger department store, maybe you are lucky and still able to find that. But I, this is definitely a sample first, but very interesting, the Tom Ford Oud Mineral on day number four. Then on day number five, I wanted something that's very easy to wear, 
affordable and a little bit more mainstream. A cult classic fragrance from Ralph Lauren. I picked on day number five the Ralph Lauren Polo Sport in this beautiful uh, blue bottle here with the silver cap. Now this fragrance, very unique, is actually one of the first fragrances I ever bought on a flight back from Greece to Germany. So for me this has nostalgic reasons. I used to own a vintage but kind of uh, lost it at some point. So I had to repurchase the Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, the Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. And I have to say, this is a very uncomplicated fragrance. It's very affordable, easy to wear. Yes, it's probably been reformulated. As you know, IFRA uh, can change certain regulations on compounds that can be used. So from my memory or gut feeling, I would say the old, old version was probably a little bit richer and maybe more long lasting. But overall, this is like fresh, a little bit spicy and aldehydic, very easy to wear. Uh, could last a little bit longer, but then again, uh, if you just take a shower and you want to reward yourself with a nice scent, you can do that, especially in the beginning, the projection is good, but it will of course taper off at some point. But that's also so, so partially expected from a fresh fragrance. So day number five, Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, for me, a fragrance that brings back some memories. Then day number six, I wanted to continue my fragrance journey and I... <laughs> mentally traveled to Paris and I picked one of my favorite French fragrance houses, the Guerlain Le Homme Ideal line. I'm a big fan of the Guerlain Le Homme Ideal line and Terry Wasser, the house uh, <laughs> perfumer for Guerlain, makes some awesome fragrances and I really like this new Guerlain Le Homme Ideal Cool. I think it has like some duality. It's like slightly sweet. I feel it's somewhat youthful, but it's also fresh. I think younger people should probably, in my opinion, enjoy this tremendously. I'm enjoying it tremendously. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a very unique scent DNA. Guys, I challenge you, if you know a fragrance that smells anywhere near, anywhere close to this, please let me know which, because I haven't come across anything like this. So I think that's also a testament to the creativity of Terry Wasser. Day number six, day number six, the very nice Guerlain Home Ideal Cool, awesome fragrance. And what could be uh, nicer and cooler than the Guerlain fragrances? Obviously, I'm a big fan of Parfum Stimale, so that's why on day number seven, I had to sneak in my sample of Leighton Exclusive. Leighton Exclusive, this fragrance, in my opinion, is bonkers. I love it to bits. I mean, this is really amazing. I think the perfumer here is Hamid Merati Kashani. And what an amazing job, Perfumes de Mali, the Leighton and the Leighton Exclusive, both wonderful fragrances. And I have to say, I think the Leighton Exclusive is way more mature even. So maybe if you're a younger gentleman, the Leighton, the normal Leighton is better. But if you're a little bit more mature, maybe you wear a nice dress shirt or a suit, uh, you go out on a dinner with your significant other at the weekend. Parfums de Mali Leighton, awesome fragrance. Uh, I can really recommend this to you to at least check it out. It's something that you have to put your nose on. Uh, guys, in my opinion, I'm so mesmerized with Parfums de Mali. Of course, there are sometimes different opinions on it. I, I can grant you that, but I love Parfums de Mali Leighton Exclusive. And in fact, it's the winner of the week from all the fragrances I had. I like this one the most. I just dropped the sample, guys. This concludes the review. Awesome for tuning in. Let me know if you know some awesome fragrances that I have not tested yet that I should test. And let me know in the comments below. I see you in the next video. Have an awesome week and stay fresh. Very, very unique, guys. If you're into fresh fragrances that use bergamot, then check out this Parfums de Mali, sadly awesome for spring and summer, summer with a bergamot top fraction, if I'm not mistaken, and using the exclusive, uh, I think, Ferminiche Hivena Neo Molecule that creates a very unique effect with that fragrance. A very nicely done creative uh, fragrance from Parfums de Mali. I see you in the next video. Take care.